everyone, this is Luke Bryan with Rescue Response Gear and the Rigging Lab, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to assemble the Aztec Elite Pulley System Kit. First thing we're going to do is identify all the components of the system as shown here. First thing that we have is our Sterling 8mm jigger cord, 50 feet long. The next components we have here are our Rock Exotica Aztec Omni Pulley Blocks. We should have an orange one and a blue one. Orange one is going to have a Beckett cover on the back, which we'll address later. Uh, this will only include one Aztec Beckett pin as well. We have our Kong Tango snap hook. We have our Sterling Rope 6mm dark ratchet. We have our Sterling Rope 6mm light ratchet. We have our Sterling Rope 6mm shock absorber. Our 7mm Mayon Rapide screw link and our official Rescue Response Gear brand fanny bum bag. So as you can see, we've got our blocks laid out here. We've started by attaching our eight millimeter jigger to our orange pulley. Uh, we took out our Beckett cover, we put the rope in, and then we replaced the Beckett cover, making sure that we kept our washer in there. We didn't lose that. Cinch that down, and then the first thing you're gonna do is orient your pulleys. So for the purposes here, you can see that we've got our orange block with the text side laying down. We've got our blue block with the text side facing out and the Beckett pointed up. We've taken our jigger and we've gone over to what will be the text side of the block. and We've gone down, come out the bottom. Now we're going to grab our working end of the jigger. We're going to thread it through the underside of our orange block. And we're going to pull the slack through. may loop up on you a little bit. You just gotta kinda work those out. We'll be fine by the time we get all the way to the end of it. Okay, so now that we've got our Aztec threaded initially, we're going to add our first ratchet. Uh, we're going to match our ratchets, blue ratchet to blue pulley, orange ratchet to orange pulley. So the first one is our dark ratchet or our blue pulley. So we're going to take the jigger, we're gonna pass it through like so, making sure that we keep this orientation. If you're looking at it from this perspective, the right side of your jigger, or I'm sorry, the right side of your ratchet is going to be laying on top of your jigger, and the left side of your ratchet is going to be passing under the jigger. So go ahead and set that up. You're going to take this under your jigger cord and it's going to come up through the bottom of the blue block on the Beckett side. Go ahead and pull your slack through. All right, that's what it should look like. At this point, we're going to lay out our light ratchet or the orange ratchet. We're going to pass through like so, and we're going to feed out through the top block. Coming in on the Beckett pin side, exiting on the Beckett cover side. There you have it, all threaded. Okay, we'll move on now and we will tie our prussics. We're gonna start with our blue prussic over here. One, and two, and three. And it might be a little bit tight, but it's fine. You'll, you'll get it through there. And just kind of work out any kinks, any twists. Dress up your prussic nice. And what you should end up with is a three on two bite for your hitch. One, two, three, one, two. On this side, we're gonna do the same thing. And when you first pick up these Aztec kits, it's entirely normal for things to be a little a little stiff and rigid as you're working with them, as would be with any rope product when you buy it. All right, there you are. Okay, moving on, the last portion of this, we're going to be tying on our Kong Tango. So come in, you're gonna go through the bottom. 
All right, you're going to come out. You're going to lay out your rope. You can see it's kind of parallel here, right? Cross over, come under, and then you're going to go around once. You're going to go around a second time. And to the back side here, you're going to pass the rope down through all three of those loops that you've created. And as the knot begins to take shape, now you can kind of pull so that it snugs up against the body of the tango here. And then you can really start to cinch on this thing and dress it up. Again, a lot of tail is not uh, ideal, but for the sake of showing the knot, uh, I would say try to end up with your, your gain or your uh, tail coming out of your knot somewhere right around here or shorter if you can manage it. All right, and to finish off this last portion, we're going to tie the shock absorber, which is this long six mil piece here. Now you can see we have it arranged with a smaller knot, or a, I'm sorry, a smaller loop at one end, a much larger loop at the other end. What we're gonna do is we're going to grab this larger loop, we're gonna hold it in our palm like this. So lay it down, find the middle point here. You're gonna wrap once over your top finger, once over your bottom, twice over your top, twice over your bottom, and then one more over the top fingers. All right, so you should end up looking like that. Take the bottom finger loops, pass them onto your top finger, and you can see what is created is a little bit of that prussic look. Now, take your other end here and pass it through those loops. Now, this thing's gonna look pretty messy now until you start cinching things up, so let's go ahead and start doing that. Just work with it and start dialing all the looseness out of those knots. Feed and pull as is necessary until this thing looks like it should. All right, and you may end up with one loop one size, one loop the other size, or a larger size or smaller, or however it plays out. Um, but you can easily adjust these, again, by using the bound loop down here. Okay, we're going to take our seven millimeter Mayon Rapide. We're going to go around both of our loops. We're gonna cinch it down, and what this is for is when using the Aztec as an edge restraint, this will be your connection point to your harness. Okay? Again, you kind of see how that prussic knot stacks up. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our opposing end here and we can give ourselves a little bit more space to work with on it. And what we're gonna do is we're going to take the end that has the Kong Tango on it and we're going to lay through like so. All right, and then we're simply going to press a hitch our shock absorber onto our jigger core here. Again, using the same format that we've used all the way through the kit to this point. Again, it'll be a little bit messy to get everything through here where you can start cleaning it up. And then once you get the three on two again, you can feel free to start snugging that up. Pull against it. You get everything cinched down, and you can make sure that it's going to bite for you. And as with all rope products, just work with it a little bit. Make sure you let it get all settled in. And then you can go back, you can readjust, make sure that everything is nice and symmetrical on this thing. And that is how you put together the Aztec Elite Kit.